Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today is going to be the first day where we start playing Life is Strange. This is probably one of my all-time favourite games. It came out eight years ago and that was actually the last time I played it. It was probably when it came out and I did finish it and everything but I just want to relive it again and go through that journey on my YouTube. Like I want to be able to watch back this on my channel and see how I went about it. And I just thought I'd bring you guys along for the journey. It's such a relaxing, like the thing with this is, it's a relaxing game, but like stressful at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense. And it, as I said before, it's been eight years since I've played this game. So it's gonna be fun to relive it because I obviously like don't remember everything. And regardless, I'm just gonna act surprised anyway because if you, for whatever reason, if you guys haven't played or said anything about this game, it's gonna be really fun for you guys to come on this journey with me. It's really, really, really such a stylistically beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> it's just a really gorgeous game. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features a player choice, the consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present and future. Choose wisely. Me, me saying it's a relaxing game. First two minutes, like literally the first intro. Anyway, I'll shut up, sorry. So I've just really stupidly forgot to put some titles on, so now I'll put it on. She was basically, if anyone didn't get that, she was just confused as to where she was. But let's head up to the lighthouse like it's telling us to do. Honestly, like this game is so nostalgic to me now. I look at this big tornado, guys. I just really 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 miss this game oh not oh I think I have to go up to the bench one of the things about this game is like if you just look around at like the game design and stuff like just the hidden details are really beautiful which is why I love it so much it really holy shit well. famously called film little pieces of time but he could be talking about photography as he likely was okay these I'm pieces in class. of time can frame us everything's in our cool glory, in our i'm okay from light to shadow from color to chiaroscuro now can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white fall asleep and that sure didn't feel like a dream bueller weird Diane Arbus. That's love. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad Oh, and I completely children. forgot Look at this the crap. game for a second. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. It, I'm not going to lie, that is such a basic picture. I'm so sorry, but like, it's a Polaroid and it's just like sat on the timer of uh, looking at the pictures on a wall. She saw know. humanity as tortured, Let's right? have a look at the journal. Oh, my and God. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? The thing is, like, I really want to read through every single bit of this. But, like, I feel like that'll be too long and you guys will get sick. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color. 
turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon, wait, I can't bust out the sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon, Kate, let me borrow The October Country by Brad Bradbury. Yeah, I can't read all of this, guys, but if you want to have a look and pause and read it for yourself, just because it's going to be like a five-hour video of my reading time. Honestly, though, I do want to read through all of it. I can't lie. It's just like a journal. Okay. Okay, <laughs> more reading. My name is Max Caulfield, and ever since I was li a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be a part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in a great, wait, I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photo photography. Guys, I nearly read that as pornography. Um, at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship even, I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now. An official adult even though I don't always feel so wise or mature I am ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera at my side say cheese eh. now honestly like girl I'm 21 and I I have no idea like what I'm doing with my life let's be real and then guys you can pause through this if you want to read it uh, this is just the teacher is breaking it down this is Kate bless her Victoria, give that pause if you want to read it, and then we're back to the beginning. It's bullshit. <laughs> Keep that to My little camera bag is battered, but Seriously, still kicking. Though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Let's take a selfie. What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Oh, um, you're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um, bitch, you either know this or not, Max. Oh my god, Is there anybody chill. here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who Louis created daguerreotypes, a, a process to give portraits a sharp reflective style. Louis like Daguerre, I remember that guy. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Sad face. It's very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him. In your textbook, in your textbook. or <sighs> even online. Oh, it's safe by the bow. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> Take a deep breath, girlie. Crime. Oh, let's have a look about. Even her school books are gift wrapped. That is I queen can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Oh, don't let her I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. 
She's rich. I just oh, let's speak to Kay. Oh wait, let's have a look at this first. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cute. Cool. Hi, Kate. Kate. I want to oh. love her, cherish her, she's the queen. You have just by I hope I didn't embarrass you. Kate, I, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Wait, can I Let's talk later, Max. Okay, she wants to speak later. Oh. Now I wish I Dick, wouldn't have read Dick this. Kate, we love your purge video. Black color kind of yeah, that's how. Oh, Victoria. Oh, I didn't even mean to take a photo, but we're taking it. I thought I clicked to read. Never mind. Okay, is there anything else I want to have a look at? Okay, we've seen that. Oh, wait. This, I swear I can take a picture. Let's just go and snoop around, like, behind his desk. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson like, is not messing normal. around with that monster. He probably paid... You can never escape the lighthouse here. Pray. I'd love to live in a town like this. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. It's giving twilight. Mm -hmm. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Don't be delusional. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy. Excuse me. I'm nervous for Mr. Jefferson. Uh, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you Excuse for a moment? Me? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do, Do I, I have, have to? to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. Anyway, let's get on out. Oh no, we still gotta look at the TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HD TV for a class there monitor. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always... to the real world. Then I like if you get past the cringy teen like vibe what she gets off, then it is really enjoyable. Why is it so shy? <laughs> I need to see it in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Look at that intro. No, I told you. My art She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant pen. I've tried to turn the music down as low as possible, even though, guys, this is why you need to check out this game for yourself because the, oh, the soundtrack is beautiful, but I'll get striked on my channel and like YouTube to save me. So, yeah, episode one Cry Sale. I have no idea how you say that. Okay, let's go over here and have a little chat to these girls. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Victoria. There's Taylor, always with Victoria. <laughs> Just us stood here talking about them in our hash. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. Okay. These missing persons posters are popping up <gasps> Rachel everywhere. Rachel Amber! Oh my god. Damn, I forgot about that. Okay, let's have a look at the board text. I shouldn't be so Going stingy with my blood. Oh, just a blood bank poster. Fun. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are... Cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Me. Literally me. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Okay. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Period. Justin? That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana? I think Dana's Dana like... Dana is on my floor, like too. She's kind of a sly. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. 
Yeah, she's cool. They must make them in a factory. That's Stella cool. is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Brooke? I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Oh, Brooke, I forgot about her. Oh, Daniel. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Hi, Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Logan probably wants Daniel. Um, Halloween party. We don't need to look at everything. Um, the missing posts and signs are everywhere. Gun free zone. Bitch, I hope so. Let's not get political. Ooh. Okay. Hayden. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Oh. Pup. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Let's have a look at Zachary. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Okay. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Oh, dorm is so cute. Trevor, he looks uninteresting. Mrs. Grant. Rachel Amber. She's so Sorry, pretty. I've already read that. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Yeah, she looks like it. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. All right, let's go to the bathroom. That's what we were meant to do. Let's do it. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. So one thing I really want to do... I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? I'll tell you in a second. I really want to try and get every picture because there's opportunities where you need to, like, take pictures. And I really want that. Like, I swear there's a... Oh. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Guess not. Okay, saying let's just use it. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh. Okay. A little butterfly. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. I hate Victoria Chase. I wonder who wrote that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. <laughs> Guys, I'm just going to tell you now, I would not be taking a picture of a butterfly on a bucket in a public bathroom. It's not really my, my vibe. But I'm not trying to hate on it. Like, I just can't. Just <laughs> oh, there she goes. Ah, this is the girl's bathroom, sir. Yeah, and you're going to jail. Nathan, little scumbag. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? Ooh. I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't oh ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What the what fuck? The F? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom, 
he shot that poor girl. I held up my hand, and then I was back here. Yeah, guys, so anyone These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light also, I'm just going to input a picture of the sunrise right now. Because FYI, I'm filming this at 4 a.m. This is real. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Can I actually reverse time? There you go, Victoria. What? So we're reversing time, guys. This is kind of the tutorial we Now, can you give me I an example of a it. photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. Go, Guys, I can't remember the name of the person he said. Doesn't ask me a question. If she does again, I'll know his name. What you kids call a selfie. I think it's something. A Francis. dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Something Francis. I know I'm not dreaming this. Of course, this. as you all know, the it's photo real. portrait has been popular since tell. the early 1800s. Your generation so was not the first to use time. images for selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can remains that her? the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as to go to the bathroom long as it's been around. Check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Okay, I have to use the bathroom. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally Oh my god, well now she was speaking so I didn't even hear it, guys. Good, Victoria. What if I rewind again? Let's rewind. Is there a way to like speed this up? Oh yeah, shift. Sorry, my bad. Bro, Max. It was. Oh, it tells us. The Daguerrean process. Stressing. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everybody. See, I really and guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be fed by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, Hurry get up. it together. To Taylor, don't hide. Okay. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay. Yeah, I want to speak to Kate if I can. Crazy. You are not dreaming. Please, it's time speak to Kate, because if we hero. reverse time, then technically we didn't... Yeah, we can speak time. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. Okay, babe. Right, let's go. But, oh, I did not mean to do that. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel I bet you it's top I see you, Max Caulfield. Ah. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's... Skipping that. Um, not sure if I have one. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm... Sure, you must have about a thousand pics by now. You want us to It'll take a, a long selfie. time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Okay, don't let John me stop Lennon. you. Okay. I didn't even know we were reversing. I don't want anybody to feel excluded. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. 
Excuse us. I'd never let one of photographers. Oh my god, they could have changed the dialogue on over that. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Okay, let's go save uh, Blue Hat Gal. Ha! I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. We're running. They'll think I'm crazy. We're running, girls. We're running. Imagine we get in there and just okay, Max, the we trace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. And then it happens. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that ever. thing down! I need a hammer to break it open! of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Oh God, oh Nobody God, oh would God, oh up, ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, <gasps> No way! I was just Don't in time! Don't me again, freak! I was just in time. Get that gun away from me, psycho. Then he shoots it. But I, I got the... Day. Oh my God. Guys, the stress I just felt then. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm, I'm like a just addict. a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Ew. Are we hiding the truth? Oh, I'm gonna hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around oh, okay. here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. Oh, guys, we're no, gonna go with that. No, he does not buy that at all. Oh, um. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. No, let's leave. There's no point. There's no point in reporting him because, as he said, he owns the school. So if we tell the principal that Nathan had a gun, like he's probably not gonna do anything because, like Nathan said in the bathroom, I own this school. I could blow it up if I wanted to. So there's not really any point in doing so. But guys, if you thought we were going further, that is it for episode one. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to continue on with the series. As I said, I probably am going to anyway, uh, just because I really want to replay the game regardless of filming it for YouTube. But I just want to like, like get your guys' thoughts and opinions. So yeah, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys have a great day. Look at that squirrel.
<laughs> anyway, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me see how you guys are feeling. Um, and yeah, go check out all the content on the page. And I love you. Hasta la vista. I think that says goodbye.